I am going to grade and rank all 21 LEGO Marvel sets that are retiring at the end of this year here in a few months. And this will be a really good investor's guide video, even though, as you all know, I do not give financial advice. I'm Kevin with KDX Bricks, and if you are new to this channel, typically I do videos showing all of the data that I collected and analyzed from all of the other LEGO investing and reselling videos that I watch on YouTube. My tongue-in-cheek tagline is that I watch all the other LEGO investing and reselling videos so that you don't have to, so that I save you a bunch of time. Obviously, I'm having a little fun with that. Go watch all the other channels out there. They're really good. Here's an example of a table that I'll show in my videos. Each time that a Lego set is discussed, I record it as a mention in this table. And for each mention, I give it an enthusiasm score of zero, one, two, or three. Zero being that the presenter said, do not invest in this set. A two is the presenter said, hey, should be a solid investment. A three is that they are crazy excited about the set. And then a one is that they're looking at it, but they have some concerns. In this video, I'm gonna use the data that I've collected and a bunch of my own research to give you my opinion on each of the Marvel sets, like I said, that are retiring at the end of this year. So let's jump right into it. On the right side of the screen, we are looking at the August Brick Fanatics retirement list. Of course, we all know this is not 100% accurate, but Brick Fanatics seems to be the most accurate. And by the end of the year, they get in the 96, 97% success. I'm going to go through a lot of the themes in separate videos. Like these are all the Star Wars. I'll do that in a separate video. The ideas. And we've got the icons I want to go through. But here we are looking at the Marvel sets. And here are the 21 sets that we are going to grade and rank in this video. On the left of the screen is the cumulative table representing all of the data that I have collected. And in this video, we will fill out this table right above it where it has my rankings and then my own personal enthusiasm score. My 21st place set, which is bottom of the list, is the Spider-Man's Techno Trike. And spoiler alert, six sets actually tied for bottom of the list. And I can just go ahead and tell you right now that they all got enthusiasm scores of zero by me. I am not personally considering investing in any of those sets at all. And to make it a little easier, I'm gonna hide these rows for now. We'll come back to them later when we fill out the top 10. This small $10 set got one mention with an enthusiasm score of two in the last six months. Let me drag this to the lowest spot on my table. The reason I'm giving this set a zero is because it has a 2.9 on brick set and if we look at comparable sets the news is generally bleak this set is the most similar but it retired in 2015 one of the minifigures is exclusive and the price has almost doubled in eight years which is not great at all and the set that we're looking at none of the minifigures are exclusive here's another small comparable set that has not seen any growth since it retired last year this is a larger set but it's also a four plus like this set also has not seen any growth in three three years. This 2019 set is doing okay, but again, one of the minifigures is exclusive, which helps it out. And then this set that retired all the way back in 2014 is doing okay, but way too long of a hold time and all of the minifigures are exclusive. So I wasn't able to find any comparables that would demonstrate that this set would have any reason to do well in retirement. Next up are the four Black Panther Wakanda Forever sets, and they are just not going to do well. The movie wasn't that popular, and these sets are not popular on Brick set. Sure, Shuri's Sunbird has a 3.7, Shuri's Lab a 3.5, 3.8 for this set, and then this $90 set for 554 pieces only has a 3.6. All four of these sets tie for the bottom of the list in the 21st place, and I give them an enthusiasm score of zero. I do have a couple of comparable sets to look at, but it's not much to go off of. But here is a Black Panther set that retired in 2018, gone from $20 to $37. And then another one that's retired in 2018, it's gone from $30 to $53. But in both of these sets, most of their minifigures are exclusive, whereas the four sets that we're looking at, other than this one, where four of the five minifigures are exclusive, but again, crazy price. The other sets, zero exclusive minifigures, one out of two, and only two out of four. The last set that I ran at the bottom of my list is the Avengers Advent Calendar for this year. Advent calendars have never done well. I don't invest in any of them, including the Star Wars. I'm going to drag that set up and put it right there on our list. I'm ranking the
in the Thanos mech armor in 15th place. It got two mentions with an enthusiasm score of one. Mechs generally don't do well, especially the superhero mechs. If we look at the comparables, here's the previous Thanos mech. It's up to $12 from 10. And remember, the new mech is at the new $15 price point, and the new mech only got a 3.3 on brick set. Looking at a few older mechs to see a similar trend, this one retired in 21, and it looks really cool, but it's up to $13. This one is only up to $17 from 2021. And then these two retired recently and haven't gone anywhere regarding increasing in value on the secondary market. So with those comparables, I will give it a 0.3 E score. And at that score, this set is definitely a pass for me. My 14th place set is the Iron Man figure 76206. It got two mentions with an E score of 1.5 i'm gonna give it an e-score of 0.5 i'm definitely passing on this set too this is the most similar set that i could find except this one does have minifigures two of them are unique it retired in 22 and it is available for 30 50 percent off i know it's a different sub theme but this one only got a 3.7 on brick set and then if we look at other iron man or hulkbuster mechs over the last few years they are not doing well 40 dollars to 32 35 dollars to 24 $40 staying at 40 and then $35 to 38 and again all of these sets have some pretty good minifigures with them and the needle is just not moving at all Lego produces a ton of Iron Man and Hulkbuster and superhero mechs obviously they sell well kids love to play with them but for investors we are suffering from major fatigue so I am avoiding those sets and one thing I do want to point out is that I'm just quoting the brick set prices sets that I'm really interested in that I want to do more of a deep dive on I will look at camel 3x and at ebay but it seems like generally the brick set price gets us in the ballpark if it's a set that we would want to deep dive further and honestly more often than not it seems like brick set is a little low and so i look at the brick set number as to what i would get after i did the shipping and the ebay fees next up is the guardians of the galaxy headquarters with all 67 pieces two minifigures and ten dollars one of the minifigures is exclusive it has a 3.8 on brick set but it has not got any mentions in previous YouTube videos that I've watched. Here's a similar set. It was only $5 retired in 2020. Neither of the minifigures are exclusive. The needle has not moved. This set is also similar. We just looked at it a few minutes ago. It's gone from 10 to 16. And then lastly, this set that retired all the way back in 2016 with three minifigures and all of them are exclusive has only gone from 13 to 27. Another set that I'm passing on, I put it in my 13th place and I'm giving it a 0.6 e-score. My 12th place set is Black Panther 76215, the bust in the hands. This set looks really cool, but it only has two mentions and a very low enthusiasm score of 1.5. It doesn't have any ratings on brick set, but I did check lego.com and it has a 3.5, which we know is very low for lego.com because most of the sets are 4.5 or higher, it seems. It's a 15 month shelf life and $350 for just under 3,000 pieces very expensive turned a lot of people off but it's been on sale for just over $200 a lot looking at similar sets this carnage which was a target exclusive is doing pretty well it's showing 75 on brick set iron man helmet that retired in 21 is from 60 to 105 dollars and then of course if we go outside of the marvel theme then many of the star wars helmets are doing very well and everybody expects them to do well all indications point to this set doing well in retirement but it's just not going to and the main main reason is it's just too big. It is bigger than all of the other helmets and heads. Therefore, the price is very, very high and it just doesn't fit in with the rest of the collection, which is a real turnoff to a lot of people. With all that said, I am just going to give this set a 0.8 enthusiasm score, one that I am not going to be investing in. Attack on the new Asgard set 76207, one year, eight month shelf life, $19 for these few pieces and the three three minifigures that all do look pretty good, but none of them are exclusive. Looking at similar sets, Bro Thor's Asgard retired in 22 and it has not gone up in value. Thor's Weapon Quest that retired in 2019 has doubled, so that's okay. The Avengers speeder bike attack has remained flat at $22 and this one retired back in 2020. And then the ultimate battle for Asgard has jumped from $50 to $80, but this one has six minifigures and five of them are unique and really good. Although it looks like like there's some traction that could be had with it.
this set, this one only has a 3.1 on brick set. And again, none of the minifigures are exclusive. On the cumulative table, it only has two mentions with an E score of 1.5. So therefore I'm putting this set in the 11th position and I'm only giving it my own E score of A1. Now to my top 10 for the Marvel sets that are scheduled to retire at the end of this year. In 10th place is the Iron Man Armory. Only one mention with an enthusiasm score of one. I'm actually gonna give it a 1.2. I am still not investing in it unless I find it on a huge, huge, huge discount because this set is $90 for 496 pieces. It does have eight minifigures and five of them are exclusive. About a year and a half shelf life and only a 3.5 on brick set. A couple of similar sets have been made in the past. This one that retired in 2021 has gone from $30 to 37, five minifigures, three unique. And then this set that retired in 2021 has actually dropped in value a little bit. Even though an E score of 1.2 is still bad, I did put this in 10th out of the 21 sets that we're looking at because of the number of minifigures. And they all do look really good. Again, five of them are exclusive. In ninth place, I am putting the Miles Morales figure. This set will have a 16 month shelf life. It is $25. It is the brick built action figure, which Lego has not done well with at all in the past. It doesn't have any ratings on brick set, but it does have a 4.6 on lego.com, but only 12 ratings. Similar sets that I found are this one, the Miles Morales mech, which retired in 2021, gone from $10 to $14. It's a pretty cool looking set. This brick sketch, most of the brick sketches didn't do well, but this one is saying 22 Two dollars from 17 so there's a little popularity with the character at least and then if we go back over a decade to these hero factory like action figures this one was originally 15 dollars and it's up to 57 dollars hulk also 15 but only up to 26 obviously I, neither of those are a great investment either a very long hold time it's not a set that i will be investing in but i am going to give it an e-score of 1.6 just because of the brick built action figures this one actually looks pretty good and the printing looks good the face looks good and i can see kids having a lot of fun with this set even though lego really is bad at these it looks like this is a small step in the right direction in eighth place is this four plus set spider-man web quarters hangout it has two mentions with an enthusiasm score of two i'm going to give it a 1.7 two years shelf life fifty dollars five minifigures only one is unique no brick set rating but it is a 4.6 with 16 reviews on lego.com if we look at some sold items on ebay it's going for about 25 to maybe up to 35 dollars there are 124 listings for new in box looking at comparable sets this is the attack on spider lair that retired last year it has dropped a little bit from 70 dollars to 60 dollars the spider-man and doc ock set from 2019 is up from 30 dollars to 36 dollars and then this comparable retired in 2018 five minifigures but all five of them are unique in this case and this one has increased from 60 dollars to 126 dollars there's a couple minor indications that this set could do okay, but it would probably be a very long hold time. I'm going to need to get it on a heavy discount to make it worth it. Seventh place is the Guardian Ship, $160 for 1,900 pieces, so pretty good price to part. Six minifigures, only one of them is unique, but it does have a 4.6 on brick set, which is very high for a brick set. Two and a half year shelf life, probably too long for a superhero set. If we look at eBay, it's going for 120, 90, 100, 100. 30. Not bad, but not that close to retail yet. The inventory on eBay is 173 new items. In the last six months, it's had three mentions with an enthusiasm score of 2.3. When I compute up all the data, I'm just going to give it a 1.8. I do like the set a lot. Many figures do look great, but because only one of them is exclusive, I am pretty hesitant on this set. I found a bunch of comparables. This set retired in 2019, up from 70 to 87. This Quinjet retired in 2020, kind of flat at 82. But this Quinjet retired in 2016, and it's up to $128. It retailed at 80. An even older Quinjet is up from 70 to 115. And then some very recent Avengers Endgame sets that retired at the end of last year from from $40 to 46 and then this one from 60 to 66. 
In sixth place, I'm putting the four plus Team Spidey and the Green Goblin Lighthouse. Only one mention, but an enthusiasm score of three. Obviously, that is a top mark, but not many mentions. I am giving this set a two. It's expensive at $35, which is typical for all four plus sets. But of the four minifigures, three of them are exclusive and it will only have a 10 month shelf life. On first glance, I would have given this set an enthusiasm score of 1.5, but I bumped it to two because of the short shelf life and the exclusive minifigures. Here are some similar sets. This one retired at the end of 21. Two of five minifigures are unique and it has not increased in price. Using this one as a comparable again, it's only up $6. But this one that retired in 2018, also a short shelf life. Two of the minifigures are exclusive, doubled in price from $40 to $80. And then lastly, this one is the oldest, retiring in 2016 and a similar story. So there could be some potential with this set. I will watch it, but I will want to get it on sale. And now to my top five and all five of these, I am definitely watching closely, but I am not overly excited about any of them. And so I will still need a very good discount to pick them up. But in fifth place is this Venom figure, 76230. It got three mentions, but an enthusiasm score of 2.7. It has a 16 month shelf life and is $25. I already gave my thoughts on brick built action figures and overall not very positive, but Venom is super cool. Everybody loves likes the character and this one looks good the prints the face and of course the tongue is the major selling point i could actually see this one doing okay and this set is coming up in a few minutes it's on our list and everybody expects this one to do pretty well now looking at some comparables minifigure pack with some venom characters retired last year and has increased a little bit this set with the venomized dinosaur retired in 21 and it's up a little bit not much but then this venom crawler from 2021 is up from 30 to 47 a Venom mech is in this set, which is up from $30 to $41. Here's another brick built Venom, and it's up from $50 to $81. This set does have minifigures, but only one of them is exclusive. So clearly Venom is a very popular character and does help sets increase in value. With all that data, I am going with an e-score of 2.2. And my fourth place set is the Goat Boat 76208. Two mentions with an enthusiasm score of two. Five minifigures, two of them are exclusive. They look good. A 4.3 on brick set is really good. $60 for 564 pieces seems pretty reasonable on price. And it has goats. But the downside is the goats are brick built and they are not molded. And I know we are waiting for just plain old molded goats to come back. It's been an extremely long time. I couldn't find any good comparables in the superheroes theme to this set. But I did want to pull up that brick built ships historically do pretty well. This one retired in 2015 from $100 to $263. This is the brick bounty we all love this ship and then a couple of older ones this is from the castle line retired in 2009 80 to 364 dollars and then a ship from the vikings theme that retired in 2006 up from 10 dollars to 89 dollars Boats and ships can do very well. This one will have one year, eight month shelf life. I am giving it an e-score of 2.3. Third place is this Target exclusive Thor's Hammer 76209. Only an e-score of two, but the most mentions on this cumulative table at seven. Just under two year shelf life, $100 for 979 pieces. One minifigure that is not exclusive, but a 4.4 rating on brick set. I really like this set. It is simple, but it looks good it's a really nice display piece from what i've heard it comes together really well looking on ebay it's 80 dollars, 80 dollars. here's one for what is that 60 80 70 80 so it's 70 to 80 dollars which is not bad pretty close to retail only 103 listings for a new copy of the set for comparables there's nothing like it but it will go well with this set we've already talked about and this helmet the gauntlets and the gloves but i also pulled up a few totally different different display pieces that might be a slight indication. International Space Station that retired at the end of last year that's already doing quite well. Here's the Ideas Voltron from 2019 that has jumped from $180 to $342. And then lastly, here is this Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse that retired last year. It was $180 and they could barely sell it for just over $100 and it's dropped to $154. So some of these display pieces do really well and some of them do very poorly. I am still intrigued by this set. I am giving it an e-score of 
of 2.4. Second place is the Venom Helmet Head Bust. Five mentions, an e-score of 2.4, a 4.3 on brick set, but unfortunately a two year, eight month shelf life. It retails for 70 and on eBay, it's only selling for 40 or so after shipping. Not great, but Carnage is doing really well. Yes, this was a Target exclusive. And then the Iron Man head that we already looked at is doing very, very well. And the expectation is still very high that all the helmets and heads and busts will do very well like the Star Wars have done. With all that, my e-score is a 2.5, and that leaves us the final set, 76255, the new Guardian ship. Two mentions with a max enthusiasm score of 3.0. My enthusiasm score is 2.7. I like this set a lot. I forgot to click over to the new tab, so here's this set. Over 1,100 pieces for only $100. Really good price to part. Five minifigures, four of them are exclusive, also outstanding. 4.4 rating on brick set. And I like this set a lot because it looks so so unique the teal and i think that's a magenta really attracts the eye it's a lot of fun to look at draws you in with the color contrast and the shape of the design if we look on ebay at this set it is going for 75 here's one for 55 75 72 here's one for 92 that's getting much closer to the retail price and I think is a decent sign. Looking at the comparables, Rise of Domo, which retired last year, is not doing well. But this Black Widow's helicopter chase that retired in 21 has gone from $30 to $50. Avenjet Space Mission, which retired in 2016 and has five exclusive minifigures, has doubled from $60 to about $115. So when we look at unique ships with exclusive minifigures, there's some really good signs there. But the biggest kicker for me that really gets me excited about this set is that it will have a nine month shelf life so it came out in april and it's already expected to retire at the end of this year therefore i'm giving this a 2.7 but i know it's been on sale recently for 80 dollars, and i still haven't gone in on it yet my price point is 70 dollars. if it gets down to that then i will be picking some up those are my thoughts and my plan for all of the marvel sets that are expected to retire at the end of this year i am not even looking at any set that i didn't rank in the top five and then all five of these i'll Although they're really good sets, I still am looking for a very heavy discount for me to jump in and pick any of them up. That's a wrap on this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget my videos are for entertainment purposes only. I do not provide financial advice. You got to get that from somebody else.